Hi guys, this is Chojin. Um, today is Monday, and I'm back to my daytime job as a teacher. Um, my cold got better now. Um, it sounds like I'm more worse, but actually, it's better. Um, because I took the medicine, it's helping to um take all the not good things out of my body so that's what's happening in my nose that's why it sounds like i have stuffy nose which i do have a little bit but not so much um anyways uh today i wanted to share one thing and that is um perspectives are everything that you should have if you are at rock bottom like me because once you have perspectives then you learn something on the go like you know you experience life you experience work um different people um then you will find that all the perspectives that you got those are actually right those are actually true so you're checking off and you're confirming you're affirming and strengthening what you already learned that you have perspectives you're learning them and you're just checking it as you take actions in life um and that's gonna help you boost your confidence that's gonna strengthen your core um that's gonna motivate you to do more things in the right direction um and that's why i'm so thankful for my mentor ice gang and that he gave me the perspectives i'm still a beginner i still like a lot to learn um there's a lot more to go but i'm so thankful that i have perspectives even just a tiny bit so um when i see it when i find it in my day like throughout my day i find it here and there um i didn't even think about it but then when i go through my day with it, meeting different people um experience different little small and big things in life um i i find it that the perspectives are really true the perspectives are really those are the right things um that's helping me um be motivated more to do more things and not giving up on this path um to success and money um so that's that's what i want to share with you in this video and um Yesterday was Sunday and I had my client. Um, remember I told you guys that I have a client. I changed to a different client. And she's actually Korean. She has a little bit of dementia. Um, that's why the family wants a caregiver to help her throughout the day. So I'm her weekend caregiver from 8 to 5. And um, it's actually been really nice. Just that Sunday, she has to go to church, which I don't really attend church. I used to go to church, um, but I stopped going to church. But this is also Korean church. I never go to Korean church before, so this is a whole new experience. And church, really interesting experience. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really enjoy being in the church with her there. <laughs> because it's just, I don't know, just... Maybe I haven't been to Korean church in the state. That's probably, I don't know how the church is like over here. Or maybe it's this type of church is just how it is. There may be a different church. But it sounds, it's just like, I don't know. It's just so different. Um. Anyways, um, what I want to share with you here um, before I had to work. Um that is this korean family is really rich um like the 
like this patient that I work with, she has two daughters, right? And both of them are like genius. And like one of them that she's living with mainly, um, that's the house that I go to. She's, um, she went to like Yale University and she's a top of, um, uh, she's a top uh, what's it called? Top position at a hospital. Uh, that, um, well-known name hospital that she's a top position. She makes lots of money. And the house is really nice. Um, big enough to have four children of themselves and her mom, which is my client. Um, and... I don't know, just, and yesterday her sister came by to visit, um, to check on her mom, which is my client, and we all, three of us, me and my client and her big sis, um, we went to the church together, uh, we spent the time together throughout the day, um, almost until the end of my shift, and just, when you, like, I haven't really met rich people in my life like I don't have any experience in meeting rich people in my life um the this family is rich and maybe like not like a billionaire richness but you know they're rich enough to make uh, build a house for the mom they're like working on building a house for mom separately uh, still under construction, but until then they're living in the same house together. But the house is really spacious; it's big. Mm, they own the house. Anyways, um, and I just spent even just like on the weekends I spend time with them, right? Like I don't really spend time with them so much because they are like busy. That's why they have caregiver as me. Um, but anyways, um, just spending a little bit of time with them and like sort of like shadowing them not necessarily shadowing but like like I observe and watch how like just um doing that um I feel like it made me think about many different things and learn something and um uh, I don't know how to explain, but it sounds more um, real to me that people are just people and life is business and it all comes back to money. Um, you know, even if you have money, that doesn't mean that problems go away. You will still have life problems because rich people also have families and, you know, all these families, dramas and problems right and you have to raise children if you have a lot of children you have to raise children problems and husband or wife whatever and or co-workers or who knows like not that they shared anything with my, me uh in anything but i'm just guessing um from what i see um so even if you're rich you have problems but because you have money you will be able to clear out many problems. For example, they have money, so they're able to hire me as a caregiver so I can care for them, uh, care for their mom, so they don't have to worry about so much, right? They worry about other things, making money outside. And they do things in their life, right? Um, and they're able to build a house for their mom so they can she can take care of the mom. Like, money, like... You will still have problems even if you're rich, but money will serve a lot of problems in life that you will have to deal with. If you don't have money and you will you'll be stuck with the problems, it's like miserable. You know what I mean? So you still have to have money. And life is business. And um those people uh they may not show it so intentionally, so obviously that they 
care about money, but they care about money. You know what I mean? Like, even though they didn't say it, like, you know, but like, I, I feel that they care about money. And, um, and then they, their mindset is just different. You know what I mean? Like, their mindset is different. If you look at somebody who has money and ha and has used the money, um, their mindset, their lifestyle is different. A uh, lifestyle is different because their mindset is different. Um, yeah, so it's hard to explain, but I think I you get it what I mean, right? <laughs> um, so just a little bit of spending time with them made me think a lot of things and I'm just thankful for my mentor Ice Gang giving me the opportunity to learn about the perspectives that he learned throughout many years more than 10 years I'm learning a lot from him and I still have a lot to go but I'm just thankful that I'm learning and I have the hope now that I can make money and I can have choices in life more choices in life and i have freedom <laughs> um yeah that's what i want to share with you in this video and i will see you tomorrow um have a good day guys um enjoy the weather and stay safe let's all be winners not losers bye now <laughs>